All right, what we're doing, we're doing a standalone video. We're going to rank uh, all the Jurassic Park dinosaurs according to how cool they are, how much I like them. Um, I've selected this off Tier Maker, uh, just looking through stuff at random. Um, I kind of like this one because it's got a few different variations of some of the species. It's not com like comprehensive, and like, do we really need all the Raptor Squad in here? But uh, yeah, it, it's, it's a little bit more comprehensive than a lot of the other little tier lists I look through where... Uh, so why don't we just start at the beginning here? Oh, also, also I should mention, it's also nice that they've um, color-coded them by film. But yeah, we'll start with the OG JP dinos. Um, so, I guess we'll just start at the front and go that way. So Triceratops. So this is uh, an important dinosaur here to discuss in some sense because it has redesigns in later films that aren't included in this tier list. And they're all vastly inferior to the original design. I'm going to give the original about an A, I think, to go with here. Um, in particular, the coloration of the Triceratops is really cool in the first film. You just don't really see it because it's covered in so much dust. But uh, you gotta, you look at behind the scenes images, or you look at like the pattern, the skin color in Jurassic World Evolution One, um, for the '93 Triceratops. You can see it's kind of got this like bluish color colorization to it, which is pretty cool. Um, and just a just a solid all around good design. Um, the JP3 version with the stripes doesn't do much for me. Um, you don't really get a good look at it anyway. And then there's the striped um, bull Triceratops from Lost World as well, which has not the... Looks like it's got the more brownish colorization that you generally associate with Triceratops in the later movies as opposed to the green that's seen in JP3 with the striped trikes. And then, of course, we have the uh, vastly inferior Jurassic World Triceratops as well, which is would be like really low tier, D or F, so probably a D. F tier is probably like the Jurassic World Stegosaurus, honestly, and nothing else really. Um, next we have Brocky. I think the Brocky is good, but it's also a bit more of a simple design. Probably put it here in B. Um, I don't mind the variation from Jurassic Park 3, the striped green ones. I think the sexual dimorphism between the males and females in that film is fun. You can see the males have the redder head, both the females have a much more muted uh, colorization on their head, so that's cool. Um, but yeah, Brocky, not much to say. We'll put it in B for now. The Dilo, I'm going to go ahead and put an S. I love the Dilophosaurus. It's one of my favorite designs. It's not very accurate, but it's just, I think it's a really cool design. And I'm not rating this based on accuracy, just based on aesthetics, how much I like the designs. Um, the Rex has probably got to be S tier in the original movie. The, the animatronic is just too good to not put it in S tier um raptors i'm gonna go ahead and put them also in s tier because the raptor design is freaking iconic um it just is not much else to be said about that honestly uh, and then the galleys we're gonna go ahead and put the galleys i'm gonna put the galleys in b i would drop the galleys down to c but here's why i'm giving the galleys a slot in b they they don't make much of an impact but the one thing they do make an impact on is the fact that the juveniles have a different color scheme than the adults the juveniles have this kind of like deer fawn color scheme with stripes which you can see in uh, jwe2 is the 93 pattern and the fact that they have that age variation and colorization is pretty cool so i'm going to give it bonus points for that we're going to put it in b um and then if we had the JP3 paras, I'd probably also put them as a B tier. I like the green paras. I think that's, it adds some good variety to the color palette in Jurassic Park. Um, but they didn't give me a thing for it, so we won't do it. Tiger Stripe Raptors. I'm going to put these ahead of the regular Raptors. I'm going to actually say that I like the Tiger Stripe Raptors more than the Rex. Probably not as much as the Dialo. I think I'll say that. Um, yeah. I think I like that position. I really like the tiger stripe design. I think it's really cool. Um, you get the same basic body plan and that evil looking face of the JP1 Raptors, but you get just this little bit more interesting colorization that I think is pretty neat. It's also much more unique. You know, you got brown Raptors, a brown T-Rex, a trike that looks brown, some fairly brownish galleys. Like the adding this, this more orange stripey palette with the very creamy underbelly really does a lot for uh, mixed up colorizations which i think is cool um stegos i'm gonna actually probably put the stego design kind of low the stegos in lost world are extremely oversized like 
there's no reason for them to be so extremely oversized. And they could do a lot more with the colorization. I think I'm always going to put the Stego design in C for Lost World. I mean, it's way better than the other Stego designs in the franchise, but it just doesn't do much for me, and there's no reason for it to be overscaled. Uh, we're going to use the Baby Rex here as just the design for the Lost World Rexes in general. And I think it's a good embellishment on the original design. I really like the bull. I put the bull Rex is probably my favorite Rex. I put that ahead of the original in terms of how much I like it. But I think the original is going to get more points here just for being the original Rex. I mean, without her, we wouldn't have the, the male variation and the bull Rex and everything else. Um, so I'm going to put him on the top tier. We're going to put him just below the queen herself. We're going to come back to Pteranodon. Um, because that should be, yeah, that's very much the Jurassic World Pteranodon. The, I like the colorization quite a lot of the Lost World Pteranodon. It's probably my favorite Pteranodon. I think I'd put the Lost World Pteranodon in A, probably. And then the JP3 Pteranodon, I'd put probably in like C tier, honestly. I know a lot of people like it, but to me, it's a cardinal sin to give that thing teeth. And then the Jurassic World Pteranodons, I don't think they were ever portrayed with teeth. Um, but the design's also not very good. But they do have color variation, and at least having red and blue heads is neat. I'd probably end up putting the Jurassic World ones in, like, high C above the Lost World Stego, maybe. And then put, like, the, the GP3 ones in low C. I'd give C, uh, the GP3 Pteranodons more points if they had the actual male and female forms in the film, but the males only, only in concept art. Um... Parasaur design is pretty good. It's it's a hard one to classify because you don't see enough of it. I think we'll put the para design in high B. Not much to say about it. Um, Menchisaurus, we're just gonna put that in D. I'm sorry, but it's not much of a design. It's a stretched Brocky model with a new head sculpt. It, it's a nice looking Diplodocid, but like as a Mementi that causes all sorts of issues. It doesn't do anything. It doesn't look like much. It's just going to go there. Um, Pagacephalosaurus, I think we can toss that solidly into A tier. It's a good design. I like the colorization quite a lot. Um, yeah, I think I'll put it behind the trike. Uh, Copy's a great design too. They're a nice bright green, which stands out against a lot of the browner dinosaurs early on. The swarming is all fun. So I'm going to put the copies also in A tier, I think. We'll put them behind the packy, though. I think that sounds about right. Um, then we've got the Jurassic Park 3 dinos. So we've got the raptors. Um, I'm going to... I've never resonated very strongly with the raptors from JP3, and part of that's the continuity issues it introduces. Why are these raptors so different? The male is undoubtedly a great design. I think I got to put it in high B only because of the continuity issues really bug me. Because it's not just a different color pattern, it's a drastically different color pattern, an entirely different body plan. Um, the female, I don't like the female, though. I think the, the white skin color stands out too much it doesn't seem very realistic to me for an animal that would be a hunter you know yeah i think that's what we're gonna do um probably get some more hate here for dress park 3 on the spina also never did much for me it's fine for like a 2000 spino it's fine uh i think i'll put it in c i think i'm gonna put it ahead of the raptor is that how I really feel in my heart? Not really. Honestly, I think I feel I like I, I think we're gonna put the Lost World Stego at the top of C. Uh Carithosaurus does nothing, but it's an okay design. I think I like it more than the Raptor female. I don't think it deserves to be in B tier though. I think we'll put it here. I like the Anki. Honestly, the Anki and the Serato are probably my favorite JP3 designs. Um, the JB3 Anki doesn't show up too much, though. Also, the icon we've got here is clearly the, the Jurassic World Anki, and we don't have a Jurassic World Anki. So we're going to treat this as the Jurassic World Anki. The JP3 Anki, I think I would put an A tier, actually. I really like its colorization. I think it'd be low A. We'd put JP3 Anki, like, right here. 
Uh, the Serato, I like it. It gets points off for just being a T-Rex with a horn, though. I really like the color palette, though. I think we'll put the Serato here. If it had a more distinctive body plan that didn't make it look so much like the Rex, but it still had that color palette, I'd put it higher. Um, and the Serato is something that Jurassic World Evolution really made me love more than the film itself. So we can't put it in A tier because of a video game. That's not fair. Um, Jurassic World, Pteranodon, I think... I think we got to put the Pteranodon here. I think we'll put it right behind the Lost World Stego. It's an okay design, but it doesn't do much for me. Uh, I'm not going to put Stegoceratops. I don't know why it's on this freaking list. Stegoceratops is not in the film. It's not in canon. It just isn't. People need to accept that. Um, D tier, the Jurassic World Anky, Anky sucks. It's just brown and boring. It's fucking lame. It's not good. Uh, F tier, Stegosaurus from Jurassic World. D tier, Triceratops from Jurassic World. Raptor Squad. We're going to put the Raptor Squad collectively at the bottom of C tier. I don't like the face redesign for the Raptors in Jurassic World. They're too friendly. I know they're friendly, but like, they're too friendly, right? Even though they're trained and Blue is a fucking good guy, the Raptors are still just too... They got too cartoony of a vibe to their face. They just look, they don't, they don't look like they're the same creature from the previous films. They look like a cartoon version of it. Um, yeah, I like the variation in color palettes. I think Charlie is pretty cool with the green and the striping. Um, Delta's whatever. Echo's fine. And blue is also kind of whatever. I, Charlie's probably my favorite out of the pack, but yeah, we're just going to collectively put them all there and see using that blue uh, icon. Uh, Mosasaurus. We'll come back to the end down at the end. The Mosa is wildly oversized. And the design doesn't have too much on it for embellishments either. It just kind of exists. It's just a big lizard. I don't think I could put the Mosa any higher than C tier. I think I might actually put it at the bottom of C tier. Um, man, any Jurassic World fans are gonna gonna be hating on me. Um, Dimorphodon goes ahead of Pteranodon for sure. Can it go in B tier? I don't think so. It's kind of weird design with this ugly head. Um. It doesn't do enough. Yeah, it's going to go at high C after the Stego, I think. Apatosaurus, we're just going to put that right behind Mementosaurus. Um, I'm going to put ahead of the Anki. At least it's a new species. Um, the colorization is just kind of a flat elephant color, which is whatever. The design of it overall, I don't mind. I just the color is pretty underwhelming. Um, so it doesn't do too much. Indominus Rex. I don't like hybrids. That's points off. But the design is fairly interesting. Um, and I do like the Abelosaur embellishments it gets. It's probably... It's better than the Indoraptor. Um, I can't put it too high. I usually don't use it in my park builds or anything when we play Jurassic World Evolution. I don't really like it in much anything. It can't be ahead of the female raptor or the Carytho, really. I think it goes there, ahead of the Spino. This is kind of the cutoff for like dinosaurs I ever really use and things. Be they Jurassic World Park builds or other projects. Um, all right, Fallen Kingdom, Stiggy Moloch. It's got really weird feeling body proportions. The color palette's okay. The presence of the Stiggy Moloch in the franchise is bad because if it's just a juvenile Pachycephalosaurus, it really ought not to be here. I think I'm going to put the Stiggy down here in D tier ahead of the Anki. I like the design. It's just a Stiggy Moloch is just weird and problematic and it shouldn't be there. Um, Carnotaurus is S tier. I love the Carnotaurus design. It's fantastic. 
Uh, I actually really like Sinoceratops' design too. I like the frill color, the way it's got those orange patches. I like the green Ceratopsian body plan. It's not terribly accurate for a Sinoceratops, but I got to put it in the bottom of S tier because it is one of my favorite franchise dinosaurs. I would make it my favorite herbivore in the franchise. And I think that might be true. Yeah, I think I think the JP3 Trike, Sinoceratops, the Lost World Pachycephalosaurus, the JP3 Ankylosaurus, um, and some of the para variations are probably, yeah, probably would be some of my favorites. Yeah, so Anki should probably be A tier. The JP3 Anki, that is. Not that abomination from Jurassic World. Uh, Indoraptor is pretty mediocre. It's an interesting design as a creature. It looks nothing like a dinosaur. Why is it here? Uh, we're going to put it ahead of the Anki from Jurassic World. But still pretty low. Allosaurus. Um, we're going to go with the Battle at Big Rock design for the Allo. And not the Fallen Kingdom design, which we barely see. This is the obviously the icon is the Jurassic World Evolution Allo, which is in between the two, kind of. Um, if it was the aloe as it's present in Fallen Kingdom, I'd probably put that aloe at like high C or low B maybe. Probably like high C. I don't like it, but it's an okay juvenile aloe. I think it would go high C with the Fallen Kingdom juvenile. The Battle at Big Rock one, I think we're going to put here at the top of A. I don't think it is the design is quite good enough to get into the S tier, but I do like it a lot. I think it absolutely belongs with Compi, Packy, the JP3 Trike, and the Battle of Big Rock Aloe. I think that's good. I think that's a good A tier right there. Um, the Baryonyx. Now, this is an interesting case. The body plan is bad. Um, it looks nothing like a Baryonyx. It's lacking the large thumb claw, which is, like, strange, the, the big fishing hook. Like, why? However, I actually really like the body, the way its body looks. I really like the colorization. I like the crocodile scoots as an embellishment, like kind of in the vein of the Dilophosaurus embellishment of having a frill and poison spit. Uh, it's just like the head could be a lot better and the fingers are inexplicable. Um, I think it goes in B tier for me, honestly. I'm going to put it behind the Serato. I think it goes behind the Para. I think it goes at the bottom of B tier. I think that's where I put the Baryonyx. I like it more than the Lost World Stego for sure. I don't think I can put it in good conscience ahead of anything from the first film. So it has to go behind the Brock and the Galley, I think. I think that's, yeah, I think that's where it goes. Um, let's see, what other designs could we add to this? There's not really anything for new designs in Fallen Kingdom of like existing dinosaurs. So there's nothing to add there. Um, what, do we miss anything from World? The Rex is the same. We don't really get a good look at the Pachycephalosaurus from World, so we won't judge that one. I already talked about the trike. The stag is obviously F tier from Jurassic World. And even from um, Fallen Kingdom, because it's got like lips and it's just strange and awful and just not good. Stego is, the, the new Stego is the worst design in the franchise, for sure. Um, the changes of the Brocky are probably not significant enough for it to get its own tier in Fallen Kingdom. Yeah, I'm going to say that that's true. Oh, the Jurassic World Gallimimus should be D tier. It's just the Jurassic Park Galley, but way worse because it's got teeth for no good reason. It's just the color is a little bit more brown instead of orange, like the Jurassic Park Galley. It doesn't have the juveniles. The body plan's really weird. The arms look like they're coming out of the base of the neck. Like, they don't look like they're coming out of the shoulder sockets properly. Yeah, the fucking... That, that, the Jurassic World Gallimimus is, like, bottom of D tier. Actually, no. I'm going to go as far as to put an F tier. The Jurassic World Gallimimus goes in F tier. The It looks better in Fallen Kingdom. That one can go in, like, high D or something. Uh, and the Pseudoceratops goes in A tier. Actually, you know what? I think the Pseudoceratops goes in S tier. The sexual dimorphism is really good. We get to see the male, the female, and the baby. And the pseudo probably goes right behind Sinoceratops for me. Also, really cool body color. The gray and then the red striping or orange kind of burnt, like, rust color. That's that's fantastic. Yeah, and the pseudo, yeah, and the pseudo should be ahead of the aloe design. So, the pseudo goes down right here at the bottom of S. Um, 
And then new designs, the new para is probably S tier for Dominion. Giga is probably like low B tier. I think, yeah, I think the Giga goes below the Baryonyx. I think it's still B tier, probably. We need to see it in action more. Uh, Ovi Raptor, probably B tier. Iguanodon, I really like Iguanodon, but the design doesn't do it for me. It needs the hench arms from Jurassic World Evolution too. So that's probably B tier. Quetzalcoatlus is like A tier. Maybe S tier when I see it in action more. Something like that. Um, feathery T-Rex, uh, it's the same T-Rex, it doesn't really matter. Feathers doesn't detract or add to the design. There's nothing to be said about that, really. Uh, what other Dominion Dinos have we seen so far? Atrociraptor is like D tier so far. The one screen cap uh, still we have of the Atrociraptor sucks. It's not good looking. It could go easily go up if it looks better in action and other scenes, but so far the Atrociraptor is pretty underwhelming. Um, Dreadnoughtus is pretty good. It's got like a nice heft to it, a thickness of the neck that the Brocky kind of lacks, which makes it stand out distinctly. Probably Dreadnoughtus is low B. Probably after Brocky. Brocky is more iconic. Um, don't know if there's anything else I missed from the Dominion prologue and everything, and that's the reveals we've had so far. That's probably just about it. So yeah, that's going to be my final stance on the uh, the tier list here. So Carnotaurus is my favorite franchise dinosaur, followed by Dilo and Tiger Stripe Raptor, and then the various iterations of the Rexes, and then the other GB3 Raptor followed by Sino and Nasuto. I think that sounds correct to me for my S tier rankings. Um, yeah, we ended with the JP3 designs pretty deprioritized, and especially the world designs. Jurassic World's designs really do not work with me. Although, remember, there should be a JP3 Anki on A tier. Um, yeah, uh, feel free to leave plenty of hate in the comments.